Hello and Namaskar. Welcome to another session of BW Farhana Tidbits, where I share some of my knowledge and experience. My name is Dibanshu Mukherjee and today we are going to discuss PSA replacement in BW Farhana. PSA has been an integral part of any BW versions prior to BW Farhana. and now it has served its purpose very well and has bid adieu to all of us so psa no longer exists in bw for hana so then what has replaced psa and how is the process of editing the data in the psa replaced in bw for hana so today let's focus on that and see what has replaced psa and how we can edit the data in bw for hana so without any further ado let's get started All right. So now let's look into the actual workings of the PSA replacement in BW for HANA. So what is the basic premise? Before we go into the actual ADSO types and see which ones have replaced, let's talk about the basic premise. So the basic premise is that whenever there are two or more tables for an ADSO, you will be able to edit the data in the inbound table. So if it's uh, a standard ADSO with or without change log it still will have two tables with change log it will have three tables without change log it will have two tables so in those case scenarios you will be able to edit the data in inbound table similar to psas the only exception is the data mart adso which has replaced the info cube of the past only if the adso is of type data mart you will not be able to edit the data because that is not supposed to be your staging layer or a layer where you should be able to edit the data it is basically a reporting layer which is your info cubes of the past and now it is replaced by data mart ads so and that's why at that layer you cannot and you should not be able to edit the data all right so with that premise let's look at the different ads types and whether you can edit the data in the inbound table or not so first we have to understand that the question what has replaced psa the answer to that is the inbound table of the adsos have replaced the table i repeat the inbound table which ends with 1 table number 1 has replaced the psa of the past meaning that table will allow you to edit the data not your active table not your change log table only the inbound table of certain types of adsos will allow you to edit the data all right so the standard flow the lsa++ standard flow content looks like this so there is a flow from data uh, source to the staging adso which is usually only one table inbound queue only and then we have a parallel flow from data source to integrated data warehousing layer adso which can be standard or data mart and then into composite provider which is a virtual data mart layer so now let's look at all the adso types so the first adso type is staging layer adso with inbound queue only okay so the property i'm talking about for an adso is this so we have different modeling properties based on which the adsos are created so this is what i'm talking about the staging the staging dso with inbound queue only if you have chosen this type of adso then you will not be able to edit the data why because again going back to the premise what is the premise you should have two or more tables so in this scenario there is only one table so you should not be able to or you will not be able to edit the data the second type of adso is staging layer again but this time compression enabled meaning the second option compressed data this means we have two tables now inbound queue and active data table so this will allow because the premise is satisfied there are two tables so this should be allowing you to edit the data so as you can see in the screenshot the cells will be editable for the different columns and rows so that you can change the data the third type is staging layer again reporting enabled meaning the third type reporting enabled this one also has two tables inbound and active tables that means it will allow you to change the data then the next is standard adso with change log so this one standard adso with change log meaning there are three tables now right what are those tables so we have the active data table we have the active plus we have the inbound queue 
and inbound sorry in okay it's increasing sorry inbound queue plus your change log okay so there are three tables inbound queue active data table and change log because we have chosen change log in that case of course the premises again satisfies two or more tables it will allow you then the next is standard without change log meaning there are only two tables here which is my inbound queue plus active data table and again the premise is satisfied so you will be able to change the data in the inbound queue that means as soon as you load the records the DTP request is completed, the inbound table will be populated and you'll be able to edit the data there and then you can push it to the active data table. And then the next is data mart ADS. So as I said, this is the only exception because this is the info cube replacement and this is actually used primarily for reporting. So at that layer, you should not be able to edit the data. So data mart ADS. So even though it has two tables, it will not allow you to edit the data. And then finally, we have the direct update ADS. So it has only one table. Of course, the premise is not satisfied and this has only one table, which is active data table. So this will also not allow you to change the data. So I hope this gave you the necessary knowledge and the necessary background of what has replaced PSA. Please remember the premise. If it is two or more tables, you will be able to edit the data in the inbound table. And the only exception is the data mart ADSO. Now there can be one more question. And the question is, what if I have the first layer as my standard ADSO and then second layer is also standard ADSO. So will it allow me twice? First at the first layer and then second again at the second layer because both the ADSOs now have two or more tables. And the answer is yes, it will uh, allow you at the first layer which is your standard ADSO for example. And it will also allow you again to change the data at the second layer because that is also having two tables or more. So that means this is the difference between the previous BW systems Previously, we were only able to edit in PSA, but now at multiple layers, we will be able to edit the data if required. All right, guys. So thank you very much for listening in. I hope this gave you the necessary background of what has replaced PSA. And if you really want to see this in action, actually in a business scenario, how we do it, how we edit the data and how we push the data in the system, if you want to see this working, then please join my training bw for hana online training which is going on right now the next batch is about to be launched so there we will actually take a business scenario and we'll do all the modifications thank you so much for listening and i'll see you in the next one